Hey everybody, good afternoon. This is your friend Daniel. Daniel Hutchins. We're back again here at my desk here in my room. And as you're seeing, it's still kind of just chilling. So yeah, um, I went to lunch today and I got myself a double roast beef RV sandwich with some curly fries and some horsey sauce. Which is kind of like horseradish sauce, so I don't know. But anyway, I also got a couple new books on the... Uh, from my favorite store, always. I want to shut the show, yeah. And then I'm going to be talking about the Joker. Okay, so I've got three more graphic novels. Uh, yeah, three more graphic novels. I got three more graphic novels from my best friend. I got three more graphic novels from my best friend. And the graphic novels I want to show you, I got the Jane Foster Valkyrie, the end of the all things. This is one I was looking for a while. So I also got Return of the Living Deadpool, which I've looked at for about a couple of months now. It finally has now. And then the last one I want to show you I got was the Road to Rebirth of Justice League of America, the JLA. Okay, so those are some new books I just got today from my best friend. He got them for me, and I'm very, very happy. But today we are going to be talking about the Joker. Yes, we are going to be talking about the Joker in the future state. Yes, the future state of DC, and how Joker's prank will change the future. Okay, so from the Joker's last laugh, they's revealed on Joker's bucket list. Yes, Joker has a bucket list, guys. Everyone has a bucket list. And his most sinister plan is to make elements of the Injustice game, the reality. This is a couple minutes ago, right, buddy. Hot off the truck. Now, as all Joker's schemes and plans, he plans to ruin Superman's life. And it's definitely one of the most impactful in DC Comics. The Joker Last Laugh number 5 is a nod to the classic comics of the Joker Last Laugh. Again, it hints the future and events that happen after. This is again, the reference implies, or further implied, that even in the main DC Universe, Joker has been planning to carry out his darkest deed and scheme all along, and it could just be a matter of time of when. Now, Lewis Lane and Superman have romantic bonds that were undeniable. They are just one of the powerful couples and pop popular couples of pop culture. As everyone knows, and in all comics and all been for decades now. But again, Joker comes between the two of them in the 1996 Elseworlds and Kingdom Come. Both which are really, really interested underrated stories. But again, again, creative team of Mark Wade, Alex Ross, and Todd Plain, in one of Joker's most evilest acts, he kills Lewis Wayne and the rest of the staff on the Daily Planet, leads to Superman distancing himself from the world and superheroes, being altered by Mangog, killing the Joker followed suit from this. This occurrence has implied that terrible things will happen as Superman loses his love and his love life, and his girlfriend, Lois, and Joker wants this to all happen. Okay. Well, late to this article, Harley Quinn finally rejects Joker over a twisted relationship endgame. We're not talking about that, we're talking about something else. In the Joker Last Laugh number 5, from 2001, the Joker is said to he has died in a result of a brain tumor, because brain tumors are really destroying some guys. The comics has said the creative team of Chuck Dixon, Scott Betty, Ron Randell, Gina Goen, Digital Chameleon, and Willie Schubert. And the news of him dying saying Joker makes his bucket list, as they say, his bucket list, where he finds Batman and shows to the Justice League with nothing to really live for. 
Now the Joker has a list including some chaos inducing actions to take on his bucket list. Just a few mundane ones which surprises fans the second to last the on an item is to kill Lois Lane. On his second to last item to do on Joker's bucket list is to kill Lois Lane. And he wants to do that, so he tries doing that. Okay, so. Again, trying to make Superman hate him. Yep. The Joker's bucket list. He actually has a photo of that here on Screen Rant. Okay, spread love. Ideas. Then he says... Murder fucking Harley. And then it also says. Invest entire US treasury. In dot coms. Kill Lex Luthor twice. Buy a cat. Consult Vatician in whole selling. Sold to Neron things. Was legit so stock up on aloe vera. He also says. Get Think Tank cracking on Crazy Rain idea. Happy something screwy sleet Daffy Downpour. Happy hail screwy sleet and Daffy Downpour. Send flower to the mini Maltese mama. So that is. Spread more of the hates. Arkham definitely. Iron Heights podunk but sore. Strikers Island, why not? Blackgate, hey, give those poor guys a break. And on the list it says on the bottom. On the bottom of his list it says. On the bottom of the list it says. Hold on, go down. On the bottom of the list it says kill Lois Lane. Last laugh. Okay, so that is his bucket list. So again, guys. Let me know your thoughts about that, everybody. What are your thoughts about Joker's bucket list? Again, do you think it's really weird that Joker has a bucket list? I mean, not really to me, but do you think it's weird Joker has a bucket list? And why he, on his bottom of his lucky bucket list, he wants to kill Lois Lane? Again, let me know your thoughts, and you have a great day. I'll be in the number ones later. Bye.